Friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and MagicBrad.tv, and I'm here with my friend Christine. She's over in New York. How you doing over there? Good. I'm doing awesome, Brad. I'm so excited to be here with you today and have this little chat and and also uh, connect with your listeners. The thing I like about New York is they say it like it is. That's right. We when there's no skirting around the bushes. We're straight to the point. <laughs> yeah. And Midwest, they just don't say. They make they, they don't, don't make a decision. And then out in LA, they don't say what they really mean. Oi. <laughs> That's generally speaking, anyways. Yeah. How do you pronounce your last name? My last name is Rivera. I was recently married, actually. So now oh. I am Christina Rivera and very happily married to my sweetheart of 13 years. We've been together, Brian Rivera. So I'm very grateful. How did you guys meet? We met on Match.com. Very cool. See, it yeah. works. <laughs> yeah. Actually, his pickup line was So you fly too? Because he's a pilot and I was studying okay. flying. So perfect. So you get that little connection. Mm. I met my wife because I did an expo. I was producing this trade show and she put together the, uh, the uh, Honor the Earth Art Gallery. And she Ooh. put all the stuff together and it just happened. Here oh, we are. Yeah. <laughs> so we know who you are. Do you have any kids? Oh, nope. Not any kids yet. Uh, For babies? We, feathers? No, but well, we do have a, a little dog, a wonderful little dog. Uh, a shoodle poodle, and uh, he is a wonderful dog, a charcoal little yum yum named Henry Hobbs. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have any dogs, children yourself? We got a, a puppy. My wife's got one kid, but he's old and work is out of the house and everything. And then we got a puppy named Kingsley. Oh, God bless. We do my little him. dog walk dailies in the woods in the summertime and take Kingsley out for Kingsley the Wonder Dog. It's kind of fun. Aww. <laughs> it's great. So I don't do these very long. I keep them kind of condensed so people can get oh, yeah. to know who you are and what you do. And then I uh, propagate the links out in the internet and let the yeah. internet do its thing. But so <laughs> what is it that you do? We found out you're in New York and we know who you are now, but what do you do for? for yeah. Well, interestingly, I've been uh, in corporate America for t over 25 years doing finance. My, my area of expertise is really helping companies bring their money in, accounts receivable as it was. You have the payable side, paying the bill, and then you have the people like me who help you get the money. And you know, for many years, uh, I've gone into companies seeing where their issues are. Why is the money not coming in the way it should? What issues are there preventing payment, prompt payment from coming in? So that's been my area of expertise. The past seven years, I think we talked before the show, I started my own podcast, which was really a way to get my expertise out there, help people in their own world of business, uh, either with my expertise in finance, or I help them get their message out to help other businesses out there with whatever they're good at, whether it's marketing, sales, um, you name it. So it. It's easy to pay the bills when you got the money coming in, right? You betcha. <laughs> no money coming in, you might be going out of business soon. I know it's a complicated thing. I, like I said, I just got done from uh, meeting with our accountant and yeah. they got all these forms and K1s and nine, <laughs> W9s and twos and ah, it goes crazy. So you got to have all that stuff. And a really good friend of mine, just uh, his wife was an accountant and she like had everything in her head. Wow. So if someone had a question, she'd just go, that's in drawer two, you know? Just really wow. Yeah. That's what it takes. So, are yep. you, so you're really into math and all that kind of stuff, you know, numbers? I, I, I love mathematics. It's not my super expertise. Today, in today's world, being an accountant, you don't need to be a super whiz at mathematics anymore. My grandma, as you just mentioned, the woman who could do things right off the top of her head, my grandma worked in a bank as an accountant for over, I think, 40 years, and she could long sets of numbers without a calculator. God bless wow. her. Yeah, but for me, I'm the problem problem solving type of gal. So a lot of times you walk into a bit, I'll walk into a business and there'll be not the amount of receivables coming in that there should. There'll be over 20% of money's not coming in and that should not be. There's something usually systematically or processes not going on that, hey, if you just fix it, you know, maybe the billing's not going out right. Maybe there's a, a glitch in the system. Maybe you need new personnel whatever it is, I can help them get to the bottom of it, get it fixed so they can get that money coming in and keep the business, business rolling. Do you got any fear of the, like the robotics taking over where they can, the technology can do all that stuff? Not really. When it comes to problem solving, it's not the type of thing that I feel technology can take over for. I, I mean, do. it does make our life easier. You've heard of Grammarly for people writing on the internet and doing, you know, emails and letters. And then there's the calculator for doing, um, you know, slews of numbers but and, and excel spreadsheets so we don't have the old um 
uh, what do you call it, uh, ledgers, like we used to have to write them out and when I first started accounting. So uh, that might have made things easier, but there's certain problem solving that still needs a human behind it. I, I suppose there are certain situations too, like, you know, we haven't, we, every month this person is late behind in their bills and it's a big ticket thing and we got to get it in and you can't figure out why is that? Mm. Well, it's because they take their kids to Disneyland every week and they just don't pay that bill. So if you yeah. learn that, you can fix mm -hmm. it, right? Exactly. And what we found, like one company I went into, they were in arrears, but they were taking on people that probably were not a good fit for their business. And uh, also right. putting them in contracts that were just not fitting their needs. And like, you know, uh, forcing them to buy $150,000 for their small boutique of which they couldn't afford to keep up the contract. So what we started doing is for one, going after businesses that could afford it, that was a better match, but also doing 50% down. So, okay. Uh, these people can't afford it. these people over here. This particular company matches your product better. Um, we have them do 50%. They got skin in the game now. And now they have skin in the game. They're going to, you know, pay up the rest of their bill because they'd like to not lose that 50% deposit they put down. I think it makes sense to put down that 50% deposit because as soon as you commit, they're mm -hmm. working for you. So you might as well start paying. Exactly. Be, exactly. Like I said, have some skin. Just a small change like that can make the biggest difference. Certainly. Yeah. So, so where do you do your work? Do you, do you just do it in New York area and you do it from remote or you yeah. go to their well, offices? or Actually, oh. it really depends. I, I'm now working with a particular uh, organization. They're wonderful. Um, but, you know, I work in Manhattan. I work four years remotely here in um, my Brooklyn office. Um, but also where I'm kind of verging into is the world of, like we spoke before the interview, is broadcasting. I've been doing this podcast uh, for seven years and now kind of ventured into its own animal. I have uh, um, sponsors and advertisers that have allowed yet another income to come in. And another thing I tell business owners as well as individuals to always keep it rolling. You don't want to just have that J-O-B if you work at a job. Mm -hmm. It's nothing wrong with having a side hustle or bringing in extra income in different ways. Well, these days you never know when you're going to get let go with that job. So it's always exactly. good to have something going on that you can step into. Exactly. Smart. I've never really had a job other than I, I did try one at a, at a chocolate shop, tried retail, a, just an experiment. I didn't like it. I don't, the customer is not always right. Yeah. And that would be really hard for me to work around chocolate all day. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. I love chocolate. <laughs> but I have a hard time with being stuck in a spot. That's why I like the internet. I can wake up at two in the morning and get some stuff done and then go out and walk around the lake. Yeah. yeah. So that's. Cool. Make your own hours. And, and that's what's possible if you choose and it fits you to make your, you know, decide and grow your own business. I like the time freedom. I like to be able to automate and delegate. Mm -hmm. Gives me that freedom. So sp speaking of that, I like to keep these kind of short. I don't like to take too much time. I just like to give people a taste of it and get to know who you are. So do you have anything that you can share before we close off? Like, do you have any, like a book or something? Or do you have like a website where someone can meet you? I or do, right? I do. Okay. Like you, I've uh, shared uh, business owners around the world who've shared their wisdom and gifts and, and skills. And they can do that by going to life unscriptedradio.com and I do have a book that's also on the website having it made a journey of rediscovery and purpose my own journey from corporate America to building my own financial firm life unscripted radio you betcha three words multiple yep. syllables life unscripted radio.com <laughs> wonderful right. well this has been great I've enjoyed it this is a lot of fun and maybe down the road we'll do some more I uh, do yeah. a lot of the, I'd like the whole synergy thing where you know, I put it up there and I share it. And if you see it on any of your feeds, if you can share it, and that's oh, what gets the, this thing's going, you know? No, I love it. I love it. It's been such a pleasure meeting you, Brad. I, I really enjoyed our time together. Okay, let's stay on the radar. You okay. betcha. Thank you. Peace Take care. Thanks. God bless. Bye.